Blade and Sorcery just got even better somehow. I think we're watching in real time what it takes for a game to feel like a AAA title during development, and all it takes apparently is over-perfecting every little tiny feature in the game for three years straight. <laughs> I don't need to try and get fancy with like throwing fireballs, I can just whack them with the stick. Because Blade and Sorcery just dropped update 11, at least I assume that's what U11 stands for, and in typical Blade and Sorcery fashion, they were silent for months and then added a whole bunch of stuff all at once. But this update specifically is very impressive. Okay, this is, this is sick. I spawned in to the starting house, which at first looked the same, but I noticed they added a clothing system and new clothes that you can put on before you leave for a mission. Is this a crown or a necklace? Ow. And then I noticed that the windows were actually windows now, and that they added a whole new area outside your home, which you can now exit through the best VR door I've ever used. That's the the best VR door I've ever seen. I mean, seriously, have you have you ever seen a door that latches closed like a real door? That's incredible. Oh, okay. All right, maybe not the best I've seen. <laughs> and it all looks really good. The textures are so high quality. It looks so incredible. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, man. This makes Skyrim look like a Nintendo 64 game. Including the new graphics for magic effects, which are insane. I thought the magic already looked fantastic in this game, because it did. Does she look like she's having a good time to you? No. But these look way better, especially in motion. I've played so many shitty VR games lately that I've forgotten what like real quality looks like and this is just blowing my mind. Oh, I hope this translates in 2D because this looks so crazy in VR. Wow. <laughs> and I then found where the mission board had been moved to, it's now outside, and for a second there when I spawned into the game I thought I broke the game with the old mods I still had installed and that this was going to be my new hell for all eternity. And to go beyond talking about cosmetics for a second, they also changed the combat a little bit by completely changing the combat in every way. That was, that was pretty cool. It was brutal, but it was pretty cool. The update log just says combat overhaul. And yeah, it feels way better. My incredibly smooth brain can't really pick up on why that is, but it just does. Do it, I dare you. I dare you, do it. Yeah! Nice jump. Oh man, this game's getting sophisticated. They're making sounds based off of where I'm hitting them. Oh, hello, Geralt. And also, I don't know if this was added in this update or not, but while playing this week, I discovered this genuine treasure of a combat strategy. Whoa, whoa. Oh, wait, can I do this on living people? I can. What? Oh my God, this is insane. <laughs> Oh my god, is no one gonna try to help this woman? Alright, well... Yeah. Whoop! Whee! Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to... He's dead. Sorry. <laughs> I, I cannot get enough of this. This is so much fun. Whee! My kill history is... Uh, Smash, 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 smash. Besides dropping people off of cliffs 99% of the time though, they also added a stealth system that I did use a little bit. So you just go slow. Crouching doesn't help. Crouching will slow you down. As long as you're slow, you're silent. And you now have the ability to muffle your enemy's screams by covering their mouth. There we go, there we go, she's muffled. She's muffled. It worked, it worked. Oh my God, it worked. Oh no, I gotta. Now I gotta do the part that I really feel uncomfortable showing on YouTube. Pause, pause, skip to here. I'm sorry to the new viewer who has no idea what this is. I'm sorry to the burgeoning smooth brain who is used to this by now, but still has no idea what it is. And I'm especially sorry to the people who have sat through this for the past, and yes, this is real, I checked, 59 consecutive videos. It's a hot spastic ninja, that's me, G, Dex 78, Wolfie. Gonna... Lang... Is that a bad thing to say? I don't know what that is. What is that? Tyler Spark, General Community, Demi-1971, Cogent 37, Low Effort Edits. Play Tarkov for Graga. Alright, fine. Although, hang on, you're not allowed to punch in kickboxing. What's the story behind that? 
someone get angry? Try to take you out? Hubby, you're allowed to you're allowed to punch in kickboxing. Kickboxing just regular oh. boxing, but we're kicking. Oh. Oh. Oh jeez. Okay, hey, let's pretend that I never said that. That's really stupid. It's not that they it's not just kicking. Stop it. Get some help. I'm not positive, but this feels like a first for VR, and it's really cool. This is what I have to RP in Skyrim, but it's a real feature here. Make sure you don't touch him. Stand up. Oh. And the last thing they did was add new rooms to the dungeon mode, which is cool because it gave me more motivation to play the only real game mode in this game that isn't just a sandbox. Cool, lots of new rooms. Okay, all right, where am I now? But Warp Frog, please, I am begging you. Where is Gem Hunt? Okay, this cart looks good. I like the grass. They took all. They put. They clearly put a lot of effort into this one little cart, and I, I appreciate it. I do. But you know what else would be great is uh, game modes. You've been teasing this character progression and inventory collecting gameplay for so long. My body is ready. Whoa! Oh, shut up! I bet this is how it works. Cool. This game needs to be an RPG. Especially now, this update makes Blade and Sorcery one of the best looking and best functioning VR games of all time. Which is insane considering you could have probably already said that before this update. You can eat apples in this game? I did that just for fun. Oh, that's sick. Wow, I'm a hungry boy. So you now have a beyond perfect platform to throw any kind of game mode you want into it. Wait, can I pour a health potion into a cup? Hang on. That'd be sick. Oh, come on. Okay, this this has to be coming next, right? Or prog, right? Come on. That'd be so cool. Oh, I got it on the book. That's cool. You notice the sound difference there? That's cool. That's detail. That is attention to detail. Oh, you make little apple cores. Oh, that's sick. This game is begging to be an RPG. But yeah, Blade and Sorcery is now certifiably one of the most advanced VR games of all time. If by some miracle you're a random passerby who lasted this long, if you would consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. Only because I have this 400,000 video idea that I really like and I really want to start working on, and we're so close right now. Um, but other than that, I hope that at least one of you chortled briefly because you found something funny in the past seven minutes. There's really no other point to this video than that or all of my content for that matter. I cannot do this on YouTube, there is no way. Like this video if you want to, but love yourself no matter how ugly your fire spells used to be. And as far as I'm concerned, I will see you again, not today, on Tuesday. No stream today, okay? This, this means nothing to the 99% of you watching in the future, um, but no stream today, okay? All right, goodbye. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, they put jump scares in this game? Jeez. <laughs> Can't do that to me when I'm about to walk out on this plank.